Same point of order, the Honourable Member for Skeena Bulkley Valley. Yeah, the, um, the, the Government House leader makes some interesting points. He talks about the usual circumstances, but if you'll remember, Madam Speaker, just yesterday in the Speaker's ruling on trying to allocate the number of votes and amendments to C-38, the omnibus Trojan Horse Budget Bill we're talking about, the Speaker himself a number of times referred to these as extraordinary circumstances. The part of the reason being is that this is an extraordinarily bad bill, that it's massive in its implications and broad sweeping to, to suggest that the government, and I, I want to get this right in my friend's motion here, seeks to have a distinction between quote-unquote a sitting day and not quote-unquote the sitting day is a debate that may be lost in its minutiae on Canadians, yet is important on the implications of what the government's doing. We are in the midst of debating another closure motion from government, another motion to shut down debate, the 26th time the government has moved time allocation and closure in this House. 26 times is a lot for any government, in fact, a record that this government seems proud to be breaking and setting anew for Canadian democracy. So the question and the challenge that we have with this motion, Madam Speaker, is that in redefining what a day is, the government is essentially trying to speed further its agenda through the House of Commons to further shut down the amount of time that MPs have to understand the implications of more than 420 pages of a Budget Implementation Act and to suggest further to Canadians that the House of Commons and the members of Parliament do not have the responsibility to hold government to account. We in the NDP take this job extremely seriously. I lament the fact that my friends across the way do not share that responsibility and feel that shutting down debate, invoking closures, time allocations should be de rigueur for the government and that we're now into a debate about defining what the difference is between a sitting day is and the sitting day and trying to pretend that this is somehow a normal circumstance. There's nothing normal about the circumstance at all. It's as extraordinary as the Speaker of the House said just yesterday. So if the Speaker wants to rule that we're going to change the definition of a day, and the government seems so encouraged to find to change the definition of what debate and democracy may mean, the government has a certain ease with which they are removing principles they used to hold. Principles that they actually said at one point, with all the interruptions from the government house leader, I'll continue, that if the government wants to say that the principles that they used to hold while in opposition are no longer principles that they hold so dear, that's fine. That's for them to work out with, between them and the people that they seek to represent. But for us, a principle is a principle. And the fact that this is a parliament based within the very name itself, a place where we discuss the matters of the nation, not cram through omnibus Trojan horse bills and start to redefine what a day actually is. I think most Canadians would find this entire discussion not just obtuse but obscene. Thank you, Madam Speaker.